Good morning everybody and welcome to our 50th country. I can't believe we've made it to 50, like we weren't counting countries or anything, we just happened to get here, but yes, welcome to... But in a really beautiful way, it's like... You. Guys, I love you. welcome now, let me to play our beautiful 50th music. country. You know, so like, um, we made it to. They're gonna do whatever they want and, and assert their own will. Belize. We're in Belize. It is currently 7 a.m. in the morning on our last day here in Belize. We've been here for a whole week, and we're about to jump on a little ferry and head over to the state. Yes. So pretty much this week, we're catching you guys up, like a little video blog diary style. Fury, want to say hi? Fury? No. He is busy guarding us at the moment because some stingrays and sharks like to come through our lagoon and he decides he's the big boss man and will protect us. Maldives there's a lot of little islands and we've come to Keikolka. Now Keikolka is actually split into two islands and we've been living on the north side of it. The island where there's no one. There's no one there. It's literally us and the rangers that work on the waters. Like we're staying in this tiny little shack surrounded by mangroves. I'm pretty sure there's crocodiles living in the mangroves and then we're just surrounded by the Caribbean Sea and that is it. So on this pretty much uninhabited island we've come to check out our neighbours. Who, uh, who are these little guys? <laughs> so pretty much next door to us are some crocodiles and uh, they've built a little sanctuary for them so they can be looked after but uh, it's nice to know who the neighbors are and uh, <laughs> to see if they'll lend us some milk. There is nobody else here. We've been living at the ranger's office. This is our taxi. I think he's found something. Buddy, there's nothing there. So he lives there. We live underneath. I'll have to give you guys a room tour. So someone that's been here since March has told us that what we see here, it was so much more primitive She's done some like adjustments. First one that she was super proud of. Put a toilet in, so actually have a toilet and then you just use seawater to flush the toilet and it goes into a bit of a septic tank. I also need to show you guys the shower situation or lack thereof a shower. <laughs> so this is the beautiful shower. And then what happens is it's kind of like a camping camp shower. So if you guys have ever been camping, you might have seen one of these if you've gone really rural. So you fill this up with water, leave it out during the day to warm up and then you just switch it on and you shower in here and then just put this up so no one can see you. We do have a fresh water catchment, which is nice. So during the like rainy season, we have a lot of fresh water. Apparently at one point they just had such bad rainfall that all that we could use it for was cooking and brushing your teeth, no showers. So everyone just stands and like rented out rooms in a hostel at the South Island on the weekend so you can shower. By the way, we haven't showered yet, so we probably smell. <laughs> and then just in here is where we have been living. Hello. Hello. So we've got a little area here, we've got a little kitchen going on, cooking up some lunch. I think we're making some veggie pasta, which is good, all run through gas. And I'll give you guys a bit of a room tour. So it's all bunks. I'm staying in the top one there. Jess is in this one here. So you guys might be wondering why we've come to Belize here in the Caribbean. Well, we wanted to do some more diving after the Galapagos. We wanted that tropical life. I think we just love it being Australians. And the diving in Galapagos was so amazing. I was like, Steve, we have to go and spend the rest of our time diving. So we had a look at a map and we were like, oh, let's do the Caribbean. And then we did some research and we found that in Belize, there are two projects here that you can come and work at, which meant it kind of gave our dives a purpose. So we weren't just going for a week diving. There's actually a reason to dive. Yeah. So yeah, there's two projects here. One is a coral reef project and one is a manatee project. Yes, you guys know we love our animals. So coming out here and being able to dive with manatees, it's almost like a bucket list dive. Like yeah. It, there's bucket list for diving. <laughs> it was incredible. <laughs> Morning, we 
would hop on this little dingy boat and head out into the reef. And what we would do is we would have 30 meter tape measures and we would line it along the reef and then we'll collect data of what coral we would see, how healthy the coral is, what marine life is living around the coral. And then they can use that to tell the fisheries where to not fish and where to not have tourists come so they can look after the reef here. Yeah, because we need to look after the reef so that the manatees are here so that you guys can come see the manatees. So it's really important that we're working with the fisheries department. Yeah, they've been doing this project for like a year now yes, and you can come and volunteer anytime you want. It's really awesome. And you can get your diving certificate here. So you can come and learn how to dive and then go and help the reef. Warning, accommodation is super rustic. I think this super is one of the most basic accommodations we ever stayed at. No running water, clean, no electricity yep. and no Wi-Fi. Our legs look like we have the chicken pox at yeah, the moment because they're of sand, sand flies. flies. <laughs> <laughs> Quick like graphic warning if you think this is graphic, but I'm going to show you my legs and my feet just to show you how bad the sand flies here. Also, I um, scratched them, which is not good. So I kind of like irritated them, but that. Can you see all the dots? I don't know if you guys can see yeah. all the dots. Let me help. Can you see that? It's also, yes, Stephen has hobbit feet. Yeah. But sand flies are real guys they're kind of healing now but um don't you just hate feet all right no more feet shots, yeah, no more feet shots. <laughs> so we've first did one of the most amazing dives ever diving with the manatees now they were around there because we we're collecting information about their seagrass so we can see where they're eating areas that they're skipping so we can get all that information to kind of map out where all the manatees are yeah that but, means that the boats aren't allowed to go and cross those areas if they know there's like a large population of manatees there and especially manatees come here to breed not mm -hmm. only eat it was so cool being able to like do dives, do work. Alrighty guys, we are heading out on our first scuba dive. It's always so much fun scuba diving. If you guys have never been, do it. Go for a little like test drive. Once you go diving, you honestly will never go back to snorkeling. It is so much better because you get to stay down longer, spend more time observing. He has a little small boat. Yeah, if you don't sketch them. Yeah. Alrighty, come on to do our first dive. Off today we're going to go do some seagrass samples, come to the island, should be about 5 to 6 metres. Have a... See you later! <laughs> it was so cool being able to like, do dives, do work, because we were there working out how much seagrass was there, and at the same time, being surrounded by manatees. That's why I think amazing. I love volunteering, because you can go do a dive like a tourist, or you can go do a dive and make a difference, which yeah. is why you guys know why we love volunteering. It's so true. Um, yeah. We kind of had another insane dive. I thought you had to go to like the Bahamas to do this. I know right so there was an area called Shark and Ray Alley yeah and I was it like oh scary, I want to go way. dive there so we jump <laughs> in the water and straight away we are surrounded by nurse sharks and stingrays and I was like more nervous of the stingrays and yeah. I feel like it's because of the whole Steve Irwin thing. through a whole school of nurse sharks. I don't know if that's what it's called. Well, nurse sharks aren't dangerous, it. so it's fine. How do you know, though? They were literally eating, and Stephen just swam right through them. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? That, that was, was so awesome. Well, we've done such amazing dives this last week from like the Galapagos to here. It's been really awesome. Yeah. So now we weren't as secluded as it looks. We were staying on the North Island, and only about 10 minutes on a boat you can get to the South Island. And that's where civilization is. That is where we are right now. We would come over here if we really felt like some civilization. Get some cocktails some and Wi-Fi. <laughs> some Wi-Fi and also the locals love the karaoke. So we would literally just sit there and watch the locals singing. They actually loved it. Alrighty, saying goodbye to our home, which has been our home for the last week. This is called all this fresh lobster right here. 
have to show you the spot that we've been obsessed with. Not margarita mics, I know you guys were thinking that. Ice and beans, they do absolutely incredible iced mochas and these little donuts that are so tasty. That's my type of island cocktail. Ah, thank you so much. Cheers. Oh yeah. Beyond a coffee lover, these are going to convince you to come here. Oh, oh. So it's the end of the day. We've got ourselves some cocktails. We've got a coconut sunrise and it kind of does look like a sunrise. But yeah, we just had the sports bar. A cool little tropical vibe to this place. And we're having our first cocktail in the Caribbean. So one day that we did come down to the South Island for breakfast, we tried the local dish, because you have to try the dishes when you're here. It's called the Belizean Fry Jack, aka heart attack for breakfast. You can't go to Belize and not try a fry jack. Hi, can I grab an egg and bean fry jack, please? Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, man. The famous fry jack. This is pretty much a heart attack in a tortilla. I don't know. So it's like mm. batter, and what they do is they put it in, like, oil and fry it up, and then they stuff it with beans and eggs. Mmm. Mmm. Was it good? Man, eat as the locals eat. <laughs> <laughs> we did try and recreate it back at camp one morning and it completely failed. We just made big lumps of hard bread fried. Just it did not work. <laughs> just trust the locals. <laughs> yeah, if just trust they, the locals. They know how to do it. They know what's best. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video blog style. We decided to do the uh, this episode a little bit different. Let us know if you did enjoy it, um, kind of recapping on our week and taking you along there because we want to chat to you guys a bit more. But I hope you enjoyed it. We're off to the US in uh, 45 minutes. This took longer. To and <laughs> um, we're leaving 30 degree weather, put down Fahrenheit, and we're going to be entering zero degree weather. Great. <laughs> wow. Okay. Thanks so much. If you guys are new around here, please hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. See ya. See you guys. A little boxes on the hillside. A little boxes made ticky tacky. Little boxes.